Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Deep Duck Trouble, starring Donald Duck on the Sega Game Gear. In this video I'll be doing the shrine and statue levels and completing the game. Here we go. Okay, don't fall in the water, it's instant death of course. Okay, teach on the edge and it should take you automatically, there we go. Oh. Yeah, I hate this bit. There we go, wait for another one just in case. There we go. Uh, they never stop coming. Okay, duck. That's it, good. Okay, duck immediately here because of those spikes. Careful, and then duck. Careful, and then duck. That's that. Okay, big jump at the end. There we go. Well, not that big, but just be careful. The screen was too far forward, or rather too far back. Okay, get the chillies. Ah, that's annoying. That doesn't matter as long as I've killed that one. Because I can. Uh, there are uh, more chillies here, but make sure you jump on the ramps. Jump button was unresponsive, of course. I just keep trying to get the chillies, it makes it a lot easier. There we go, good. I uh, can't believe I screwed up uh, that first chili. Okay, try not to lose any health. It really is. Um, it really makes it a lot easier if you don't. Because there's much health around here. Okay, just teeter on the edge. And the, um, it should take me automatically. There we go. No point in killing them. There's no advantage, really. I suppose maybe some points. If you do kill them, then the, uh, then the pot will spit out another one, so you'll have to avoid that one as well. So there's no point in killing them. Okay, here, just jump on the platforms nicely. No, nope, missed it. Never mind. Okay, just fall on the ramp again. Jump on that platform. That's it. Okay, spikes will come up from the left, so just avoid them by running to the right. Quickly jump on these platforms before they disappear and uh, put you in the spikes. Again, run to the right and then just fall off before the spikes come. And then you're taken there. Okay, don't bother jumping on these enemies. Sliding down and doing nothing will kill them just nicely, or rather just fine. Then there's another chili, and that's the end of this scene. So that's the first half of the shrine done. Nice and easy if you know what you're doing. And we have um, 123,400 points. Brilliant. Okay, scene two, shrine two, start. Okay, try not to lose any health here. It, uh, it's quite scarce. Okay, jump over the fireball. Okay, wait for these annoyances. That's it. Don't bother jumping on them. The jump button was unresponsive, of course. Uh, don't bother jumping on them because they just come back to life anyway. It's really annoying losing that health. It really is. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, I have to be doubly careful now. Okay, jump over that and duck underneath that one and then just go to the left. There we go. Unbelievable. That's it, and go quickly. That's it. There, yeah, those ones don't shoot for some reason. Teach on the edge and use it as a platform. There we go. Jump over another one if you want. There we go. Then go down here. Onto that platform. Oh, we just made that there. Okay, quickly go to the right and then get this, whatever it is. It's a... Uh, oh, a chicken. Good, it's all my health back. Yeah, health is quite scarce around here. Make sure you kick the block to uh, push the switch because you want uh, the platform to go to the right, not down, otherwise that takes you into oblivion. Gem, lovely. This bit can be annoying. <sighs> hate this. As soon as you're able to, uh, just jump across. That bit can be tricky. Um, you can either do it or not do it. Just keep, uh, don't walk across the bridge because it's too, it takes too long for, uh, it takes too long for Donald to accelerate. So, uh, so just keep jumping to the right slightly to get on the next platform. 
hate doing that. Okay, this bit uh, can also be annoying. Just keep jumping like that over the spears. Make sure you don't fall off the platform. Just go the opposite direction uh, that the uh, the platform is going when you jump. Otherwise, you, uh, you'll go too far to the left or right, and then you'll fall off and touch the spear and get hurt, which is annoying. But the platform does come back. You, you get more than one chance as long as you have health, really. Okay, uh, wait for that to go out. Quickly jump across before it gets too high. No, it missed it, of course. It's a good job I've got the chicken now. Okay, the weights will disappear when the lights go out. Uh, so you can walk through them, but the lights is out of the screen, so it won't go out. Okay, just wait. There's no rush. No point in rushing. Just take your time. There's no time limit. Because health is scarce, like I said. If they are, uh, that means the weight's gone if, it's, uh, if, if the lights go out. It doesn't exist anymore, as far as you're concerned. Okay, T2 on the edge. That's it. Okay, now for the tricky bit. Okay, jump on the next one. Quickly jump on that annoyance. There we go. Jump on that one. Immediately kick the block to press the switch. Otherwise the platform will disappear down below. Or it'll keep going around in circles or something. But it might disappear. Okay, make sure you're on the right, uh, the left edge. You want to fall onto this platform, not jump. You won't make it. Fall on it, otherwise you won't be able to jump back onto this one. That's the only way to do that, trust me. You have to fall on, on the other one. Oh, that's close. Okay, that's that done. Okay, this is automatic. Okay, now time for the, the quote-unquote boss. I hate this. Okay, the trick here is there's a, little, there's, a, uh, uh, there's a little tricky bit. First of all, there are some bats sometimes. Make sure you jump over them. There we go. We'll uh, jump on them. There we go. Now you want to fall down the first hole. Don't go in the water, it's instant death of course. Fall down this one, otherwise that will loop indefinitely. That's it, and fall on, quickly jump on that one, that was close actually. Jump on this, careful, that's it. Don't go too far forward, it makes it difficult. There we go, right. Might be some more bats here, I can't remember. Oh, hate that. Okay, might be some bats here. Just keep on the left of the thing so you can go forward if need be. There, yeah, there's one bat. Okay, and the same thing like before. Don't go too far to the left. I mean, too far to the right. You want the screen to catch up with you. There we go. That should be the end, I think. I hope. No, there's one more. Don't fall in the water. Now, you can accidentally miss that log just and then fall in the water. It's really annoying. Okay, that's the end. Good. Right. That's that. Good. Yeah, that can be tricky. Just don't just make sure you land on the platform before the log, then go on the log. Don't accidentally go on the platform and then go to the right instead of jumping on the log. You, otherwise, you'll fall in the water. So, so jump on the log. Don't try to run on the log. Okay, 143,600 points. There we go. That's round five clear. <sighs> right. Okay. Now for now for the uh, statue round. Here we go. This is the last one. Okay. Round six. The statue. Uh, to reach the statue, you must pass the final trial. Scene one. Statue start. Okay. Go underneath the first two enemies that appear if you can. The third one will go low enough uh, to shoot at you, so you have to jump over a shot. And then try to jump on its head or jump over it or whatever. Here we go. Yep. There we go. The fourth one goes even lower. Uh, the main thing is uh, just try not to not to lose any health here because we need the health for the last boss. Um, and the last boss is just here. Okay. The first attack pattern of the boss um, it will either shoot fireballs at you or it'll shoot some uh, some sort of laser that'll make a block for you. When it does the laser, you need to keep at least half the screen's distance to keep uh, so you won't get hit by the grit like this. So you need half the screen's distance at least. Uh, um, and then just kick the block at it when you can. There we go. It's doing a fireball, yep. It's doing another fireball. It makes the noise when it does a fireball. Another one, yep. Fireballs are harder to avoid, it's being a bit annoying today. Oh good, it's making the, the block again. Ah, uh, no! Phew. 
No, it's doing fireballs, good. Fireballs. It's doing loads of fireballs today, it's quite unusual. Sometimes it does none. Doing even more, brilliant. It's just 50-50, I think. It's just... Uh, uh, it's like flipping a coin. Anyway, the, um... Yeah, so we need, a, we need it to make a block, and that's annoying, because now we're going to get hurt. Yep. That was lucky. Okay, no, missed it. Oh, good, got it. Oh, good, two shots there. Okay, now now it'll go in the middle or the uh, or the two either sides. Uh, when it goes in the middle, just run away. When it goes to either side, you know, that gives you an opportunity to get it, but no. Um, I, I usually like to focus on one side, usually the left one. Then it'll either go in the middle... And then, if it goes to the left side, then I, I concentrate on the left side, really, it doesn't matter. There's no time limit. But when it goes in the middle, make sure that you, uh, uh, that you, that, that you go to the left or the right to avoid the, the fireballs. And that's it. That's the last boss done. Not bad. And then finally, Donald puts the pendant around the, the statue. And that should break the curse for Uncle Scrooge. And then a crown appears. Yeah, that's the only real boss in the whole game, that one. Wow, look at that, a new treasure. And then the curse is broken for Uncle Scrooge. He's uh, uh, deflated in a humorous manner. Um, Donald returns home to find out if his adventure were a success. Uncle Donald, Uncle Donald, um, you did it. Say Huey, Dewey, and Louie. It worked, Donald. The curse is broken. I'm back to me old self. That's great, and look what I found. Or, and look what I found. When I returned the pendant, this treasure appeared, and it's not even cursed. Are you daft? Of course it's cursed. They're all cursed. Donald. Donald? Donald? Oh dear. And now Uncle Donald is cursed. Well, you'd think it would do something different. Alright, a new adventure. That's more like it. Come along, boys. And that's it. Looks like they're taking yeah, they're taking Uncle Donald with them like a balloon. Although he's not inflated with helium, so I don't know why he's or hydrogen, so I don't know why he's floating. I mean, uh, normal balloons when they're filled with air, they don't float. They uh, they sink eventually. So unless he's filled with helium, I'm suppose he might be filled with helium, but he, I don't think that uh, the helium would have enough lift uh, to hold um, Donald's entire body up. Even hydrogen, which has a little bit more lift than helium, wouldn't be able to hold that up. Need loads of balloons to lift even a small object, you know, like an airship. You need a whole airship just to hold a few people. In anyway, the end. That's uh, that's the end of Deep Duck Trouble starring Donald Duck on the Sega Game Gear. And here's uh, the credits. Deep Duck Trouble. Yes, that was fun. Uh, my next video series will be Alex Kidd, The Lost Stars on the Sega Master System. Look forward to that one. Probably do two videos for that one. Cast, Donald Duck, Scrooge McDuck, Huey, Dewey and Louie. Louie is really spelled L-O-U-I-S, you know, because yeah, the S is silent. So you don't really need the I either. It's not really a shorter version of that name because it's the same length. Okay, then there's the star for the game designers, uh, whom I can't be bothered to read out. Because they usually have Japanese names that I can't pronounce very well. It sounds stupid. In my older videos, I used to read out the the uh, the cast, but it's absolutely pointless because I can't read it properly. I mean, Mikarin. I don't know how to pronounce that properly. So, I mean, it could be Mikarin, Mikarin, Mikarin. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so... 
Yeah, uh, next video is going to be Alex Kidd, The Lost Stars. I've already done Alex Kidd in uh, Shinobi World. I've already, I did that ages ago, because that, that's my favourite Alex Kidd game. That's like a parody of, of the original Shinobi. But uh, yeah, Alex Kidd, The Lost Stars, and Alex Kidd, High Tech World. And then, Alex Kidd, and Miracle World, if I reach 1,000 subscribers. It's a bit weird I haven't done Alex Kidd, and Miracle World, since it is one of the more popular Master System games. I'm trying to get through them all, aren't I? Um, and then maybe after that, um, Alex Kidd and Miracle World 2, the fan-made game from the Master System forum. I have to read this one. 168 Pantaloon. Who would call themselves Pantaloon? Why don't you just call yourself Knickers? Uh, uh, call yourself tights uh, or girdle. Hey, it's Patrick Gilmore again. Yeah, he was the producer on Land of Illusion. Oh, he, uh, he's always easy to, easy to remember because he's the only one with a uh, with an English-sounding name. Patrick Gilmore. He's obviously like uh, the big cheese at Disney who okayed the game after all these uh, Japanese people made it. You know, they had to they had to put the uh, they had to put the game on his desk, and he gave final approval. Yes, um, I hereby uh, approve of this Master System or Game Gear game. Signed, Patrick Gilmore. Not to be confused with Patrick Moore, who was uh, an astronomer, a presenter, he was la the late astronomer, a presenter of Sky at Night, and he was Games Master on Games Master on Channel 4. Uh, presented, by, uh, presented by Dominic Diamond, and then later... Dexter Fletcher and then Dominic Diamond again. And it's really weird. Patrick Moore was like a really renowned astronomer, and he was also the games master. Like he used to used to give cheats for for old Mega Drive games, and he obviously had no idea what he was talking about. You know, saying press the A button, up, down, whatever. And it's like he's like uh, nearly 90 years old, or, or maybe he was 70 then. I don't know. <sighs> Anyway, my final score is 194,200, so see if you can beat that. If you do beat it, post it on as a comment, and then and I'll congratulate you and give you a shout-out for beating my score, maybe. As always, if I've missed anything, leave, leave me a comment, and I'll, uh, like someone did, I think Ed Smith was his name, he left a comment on my first Masterdom video of this game, told me how to get that, that life on the on the jungle level. Anyways, that was uh, just the end of uh, Let's Play Deep Dark Troublestone Donald Duck on the Sega Game Gear. Thanks for watching. The next video will be um, Alex Kidd, The Lost Stars on the Sega Master System. Thanks again and goodbye.